Hello and welcome to another Demicell and tutorial. We're going to be looking at how to make the pluck from Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Uh, it's very easy and very quick to make. Um, and we're going to do this in massive because it's the easiest one to do it in. Um, I've seen a few tutorials out there so far. I'll just put one out there because I think it sounds a lot closer to the original and some of them out there. So we'll load up this uh, instance of massive. We're just going to go here and new sound. So let's copy that down. And we're just going to turn the volume down. So we've got that. So we're just going to make sure the oscillators are off. Uh, everything's off. Turn the noise off. So we know we're not using it. Filter 2. And then we're going to go to oscillator 1. Choose the sine and square. Wavetable to the left, obviously, to get just a sine wave. I've created the melody slightly differently as well, just to avoid any kind of strikes on the account so that's why it does sound a little bit different uh, but the sound nonetheless is near enough the same so we're going to go to the first envelope and i'm just going to leave this plain so you can see how it's uh, been shaped so envelope four here is the master envelope for the sound without attaching it to anything it's just attached to the output volume so we're going to edit this so we have no level adjust the decay and then we're going to adjust the release of the sound okay so we have the very basis of the sound there it's very similar but it hasn't really got that kind of snap to it so to add the snap we're just going to open up envelope one here and we're going to attach it to the pitch and we're going to throw that up to 64. been through this before on how it affects the pitch through the envelope um, and we're just going to go straight to the point this is skipping across 64 um 64 tones so we're going one two three quite a few octaves up and then it kind of slides back down with the uh the decay level here so if you have full peak there it's going to go right up to that top octave and then it's going to slide back down like a, a pitch bend but we're going to do it that fast you just get a nice little snap so i'll play it and you can hear how it's doing it the sound and that's pretty much it I did add a little bit of EQ on there and I did just to control that click at the top so it's not too piercing through the ears And there you go there is a very slight amount of reverb on there but that's for you to master if you use the reverb built in it picks up on the click too much i'll just show you quickly here so you get that horrible artifacting from it um but if you use an external reverb and you just put a very small room on there there is just a little bit of a small room reverb but apart from that that is exactly how it sounds to my ears it's not perfect but it's a very good starting point if you're doing any remixing i'll also give you the midi file i'll give you the actual uh, main melody which is more like this So it's more like that, uh, but I'll give you that MIDI file anyway. Uh, the, I think, yeah, the original ones here, no, here. Yeah, there's the original one. So I'll put that in the link so you can download that as well as the patch. Um, and that's it, that's all there is to that video. I hope it's gonna be of use to a lot of you. If it is, just subscribe to the channel because I'll do a lot more videos to come and there's a lot of them to check out as well. And follow me on Facebook and Instagram, the main places that you'll find me. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.